Hey, it's Adrian from Numero Uno Web Solutions, and today I want to talk about five things that you need for your website. And this isn't about landing pages, this is about your, your, your corporate website or your business website, the one that has all the information on it that you are going to convey to your customers. It's your, you know, your digital storefront, your digital business card. I'm going to talk about you know, the five things, and actually it's six things. Uh, I know that I put five in, on the YouTube video, but it's six things that you should have on your website to make sure that when somebody comes to your website organically, that they connect with you and that you are providing them with all the information that they need to know about your company and about your business and what you can do for them. So uh, before I get into it, just a reminder, uh, click the subscribe button below. Uh, so that way uh, you can get all of our videos and get notified when any new videos come out. Okay. So the six things that you need for your website. Number one is a clear, clear description of who you are and what you do. Uh, a lot of companies tend to get over uh, complicated with their business. They know what their business does and people in their industry and colleagues in their industry know what their business is and what they do. But when somebody is looking organically for one specific service or product that your business offers, it's up to you to make sure that if they go to your website as opposed to a landing page, but your corporate website, that you're actually showing them clarity in what you do and what you're offering so that way there's no mistaking it you show them exactly what you offer you have seven seconds to show a potential visitor what you do clearly and if you don't do it within those seven seconds they're gonna leave so my first piece of advice is if you have a website make sure it's clear concise of what you do it could be a mission statement a headline even an image that really relates back to your corporate message and your key values and what you're offering to a potential customer. Okay, number two is a call to action or a contact page or something similar. So that way, if somebody's interested, they can connect with you. This is key for a landing page, but it's also key for a website and it still has to be clear and concise. It could be for a quote, it could be uh, contact us for information, it could be a learn more button, whatever it is, it's got to stand out. You have to make sure that anybody who visits you organically, and remember, they're looking for something specific that you have, and you're ranking probably on page one of Google already. So you have to you have to capture that warm lead. You have to be able to grab something. You could have a pop up, uh, you know, that shows, hey, you know, click here for a free download. You could have um, the offering. Uh, a free quote for something or, or, or scheduling a meeting or anything like that. But you have to have something and that's the key. If you do not have a clear call to action, you are going to lose out on potential business. Number three is information or content. So if you're ranking on page one of Google, chances are pretty good you have a ton of content on your page, but you have to make sure that it's clear, it's concise, and it's little chunks of content. You want static pages that describe your product. You want to have the About Us page that describes your business. And you want it done pretty succinctly. You don't want to go on and on page after page. You don't want to have thousands and thousands of words that describe your business. You want to make sure it's just clear, concise. We sell widgets. We sell the best widgets. You also want to make sure that you have your unique selling proposition in there. You want to go to a widget page, you want to show all the widgets you sell, but you want it clear and concise. If it's e-commerce, that's a little different. You obviously have to have some descriptions in there, and we'll get into an e-commerce uh, stuff later on in another video. But right now, just for a basic website, just little chunks of quality information that is optimized for SEO, you want that on your website. Okay, number four is mobile navigation. You want to make sure that your site is responsive and responsive means that if I view it on my desktop, if I view it on my tablet, if I view it on my Android or my iPhone, that it looks good and it shows that um, it, it shows properly on that screen size. You know, there's some companies still that have a desktop website that's just completely replicated onto an iPhone and just everything just shrinks down. You can't even read it. 
you want to make sure that's responsive so that no matter what the size of the screen is, you can see it. So like, for example, the screen that I have here in my office is like a, it's like a double wide. It's, it's a huge screen. Uh, I have a laptop. The screen is a lot smaller. And of course I have, you know, my iPhone and that screen's tiny, but I want to make sure that your website looks exactly, not exactly the same, but it still shows the clarity and the ease of navigation, whether it's on mobile or it's on desktop. And you know, here's some examples I'm gonna be showing you on screen here that shows you like, for example, our website, how it looks on desktop and how it looks on mobile. And that's the same URL, that's the same site. So it's easy to do if you get a good web developer and web designer to do it like Numero Uno Web Solutions. We can do that for you. But even if you have somebody in-house doing for you, make sure that you have a responsive homepage. The fifth key element of a website, and this is really important for every business website, is customer testimonials. There's nothing more powerful than a referral or somebody else saying how much they love you. It's so important. You need to put customer testimonials on your website. We put it on our website. We also have it on our uh, Google My Business page. You'll see we have our Google reviews. We have a 4.9 out of five star rating. If you have great reviews, put them on there. Uh, you want to put only the good reviews on your website. And if you've got even some bad reviews on your on your Google, that's fine too. You're not going to please everybody. We're not perfect. You're not perfect, right? Sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes things happen and somebody gets upset and writes a bad review about you. The key is get as much good stuff on your website, good customer testimonials as possible. It not only helps your reputation, but it shows to others that you can be trusted and that what you're doing is good. You're providing a good service or you're providing a good product and the social proof is out there have customer testimonials. Okay, and like I said, I was only do five, but there is a sixth that's important, and that is uh, make sure that your website loads fast. Earlier I mentioned that you have about seven seconds to you know show anybody visiting your website what you do and clarity with that. Uh, if your website doesn't load fast, people are gonna leave. Uh, in, in the digital age, patience is, is basically extinct. It doesn't exist. Uh, you have to be fast. If somebody's waiting there for three, four, five seconds for your site to load, they're gonna leave, they're gonna close it. Sometimes it's technical, but other times it isn't. Sometimes you just have slow uh, page load that you can get fixed if you have the right web developer to do it. So make sure that your, your website loads fast all times. Check it on a desktop, check it on a mobile phone, but not just a mobile phone, you also wanna check it from the Wi-Fi and you wanna check it from a mobile network as well. Always, always, always make sure your site loads fast. So there are the six uh, keys to a great website. Uh, there's a lot more of that, but uh, we'll cover that in other videos. And if you wanna get those videos, remember, subscribe to our channel and you'll get some really great stuff. Until then, bye for now.